a slat. Is that a trust strategy where you can have your cake and eat it too? Hi, I'm Claire from the Yanowitz Law Firm, where we've been helping families with irrevocable trust gifting here now for over three decades. So let's get started. What is a slat? A slat is a technique that people use to make large lifetime gifts to their spouse. Here's how it works. One spouse transfers assets to an irrevocable trust for the other one's benefit. So let's say John and Mary are married. John transfers assets to a trust for Mary's benefit. In this situation, Mary could be trustee of that trust. John could not. The person who makes the gift cannot be trustee. So the other spouse is trustee and they get to enjoy enjoy it for their lifetime. And then Mary's death, the assets oftentimes go to John and Mary's children, sometimes in further trust. Why do people do this? They do it for tax savings reasons usually, and sometimes asset protection reasons. So what are the tax savings reasons? So when assets are transferred to this trust, all the appreciation on those assets are out of the estate for federal federal estate tax purposes. So let's say John transfers a million dollars to this slat, but during Mary's lifetime, those assets grow to two million. One million of that two million is entirely out of John and Mary's combined estate and not subject to estate tax when they die. So oftentimes affluent families set up these trusts as a way to save federal estate tax, but they can also be really helpful in saving Minnesota estate tax as well. And here's how that works. When John transfers that million to the trust, he is required in filing a gift tax return. So he's reporting this gift to the government. He doesn't have to pay estate tax. He's just telling the government he made this gift. And as long as he lived three years after making the gift, it's out of John and Mary's estate for Minnesota estate tax purposes. So let's say John and Mary have 8 million in their combined estate and they transfer a million to this trust, they live more than three years after making that gift to the slat, then in that instance, John lives more than three years. Mary doesn't matter. It's the person who gifts it matters. As long as John lives three years, then it's not going to be in John's estate when he dies. Now, there are a couple of things to balance when we're thinking about, should we transfer an asset to a slat? And one of the things we wanna think about is is, is this asset highly appreciated? Is this the farmland that we bought 50 years ago for $100,000 and now it's worth 6 million? There's enormous appreciation on this property because when you transfer it to a slat, there is an estate tax benefit, but you are giving up an income tax benefit. And that income tax benefit that you are giving up is oftentimes referred to as the step up in basis at death. So you don't get this basis reset when John dies that he would normally get if he died owning this property. So when we are giving assets to a slat, we oftentimes want to give higher basis assets that haven't appreciated much yet, but are likely to explode in appreciation in the future. Another thing that we need to consider is the health of the spouse that's being gifted the assets, because oftentimes if the health is not so good at their death, at Mary's death, the assets are going to pass to the children. So at that point, John is no longer going to indirectly benefit from this trust. It's going to be owned by the kids. Also, if Mary and John get divorced, the way we draft slats is John doesn't have access to these funds anymore. Mary still does. There's some controversy in, in the estate planning community, how you can draft it. But the safest thing to do is in the event of divorce that Mary continues to benefit from the slats. So if marriage is rough, it's probably not a good idea to set up one of these trusts. Now, these trusts have come into focus quite a bit because there is a potential drop in the federal estate tax exemption in January 1st, 2026. And so a lot of our clients are really interested in learning about what a slat is because they may want to make larger lifetime gifts to take advantage of the larger estate tax exemption that is in place right now, but may be reduced in 2026. If you want to learn more about that, I have another video about that. Otherwise, if you want to learn more about gifting, slats, give us a call. Our number is 507-252-8997. Thanks.
Thank you.